Hey, it's David here from Freedom Founders. I've been saying for quite some time that this country has been moving towards socialism for not just a few years, not just the last five or six or 10 years, but for decades. It's just now at the turning point and COVID, the pandemic from last year, just turned the heat up, just moved things along probably by a good 10 years or so. The trend's been there, so COVID just pushed it up. Now, what does this really, really mean? We've seen the tax and spend mantra of, doesn't matter, you, you, can, be, you can be bipartisan about this because both are. Uh, whether you like President Trump or didn't, uh, he spent a lot of money. I'm not judging it. We have a current administration, the Biden administration, that is spending even more. Uh, but this is, goes back, you know, decades. Republican, Democrat, it doesn't matter anymore is my point. So look, can we just stop the finger pointing in the blame game? Because they're all in on it. They are all in on it. And we are really past the tipping point. We have crossed the Rubicon in this country. I don't believe there's any going back. I think there's going to have to be a whole reset, a very painful, massive reset before we could get back, if we can get back to some sane methodology of government uh, by the people, for the people, and not the, not the government overriding the people. It's a mess out there today. We can all agree on that. But where are the dangers? One of the things I've spoken about for years, even way pre-pandemic, is the potential danger of loading up and putting a lot of assets or savings into retirement accounts, qualified accounts. There's always the big benefit to qualified accounts has been uh, tax deferral or tax free and tax savings. Well, we call it tax savings, but in, in most of those accounts, traditional accounts, it's not a tax savings, it's a tax deferment. Now, in most times, tax deferment's not a bad thing uh, because we know the present value of dollars today, if they're well invested, uh, can make up for the taxes on the back end when you take the monies out. I'm not here to play that game right now, uh, but I'm a believer that the more able you are to to orchestrate your financial future. That is, you know how to invest your money, whether it's in your business or in outside investments. If you're that person, there's very few that can do it well. It's hard. It's not easy. Then probably you're not well suited to put your money into the, what I call the lockbox, the 401ks, the retirement accounts. If you're not well suited to investing your money outside of your, your practice or your business, which is a great place to invest your money. If you're not well suited, don't have the time, don't have the ability, don't want to do it, then okay, put your money in a 401k cash balance, defined benefit plan, whatever you want to do, traditional IRA accounts. Um, at least there's a discipline there. But here's the next big problem I see, which is something I have not talked about in great detail, but I'm seeing it right now. I think the writing's on the wall. This big swing, this massive swing in this last election uh, towards socialism. Um, Biden coming in saying he's a moderate, but he's he, he's about as left as, as you can get right now. Way further left than many of the candidates that were running uh, for for the uh, uh, to, 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 to be the candidate uh, to run for president, way left. Uh, what he's doing now shows the signs that we are in a movement towards collectivism. That means there's gonna be more confiscation of people's wealth, the hardworking people. Yeah, you, you who have been out there risking uh, your time, your capital, all the education you put into it. Every day you go to work, you've got huge liability resting on you. You've got payroll to meet, you've got compliance to meet. Yeah, you put out there every day and there's this tendency now towards redistribution uh, that if you made it, if you've got money, you aren't paying your fair share. Look, I don't have to tell you the writing's on the wall. Wealth tax, the wealth tax, those trial balloons have been floated in this last year. I'm telling you, folks, it's coming. What's a wealth tax mean? It means that if you have an increase in your assets, that could be your home, vacation home, gold, silver, Bitcoin, your practice, stocks, bonds, if they have gone up in value, but you have not sold or harvested the, the equity, the profit, you're gonna have to get an appraisal every year. I see it coming. You're gonna have to have those accounts appraised or or if they're valued uh, easily in, like they are in the stock market or bonds, the appraisal, you're gonna pay a wealth tax. It's coming. I'm saying it's coming. Maybe not next year, maybe not next two years, but it's coming. Look, this, this government, this country needs money. And they found that they've got the majority of the people on their side, people who are used to the entitlements, they love getting free money, they don't have to go to work. We've just turned the tide here. So that's coming. But what about the 401ks, the defined benefit plans, cash balance plans, qualified plans? Did you know that the amount of money in qualified plans today is right around $28 trillion? Now think about that number, $28 trillion. Does that number resonate anywhere? Well, if you haven't looked recently, the current national debt is right around $28, $29 trillion. Hmm, interesting. I could see a day 
where the government, whatever the administration is at that, at that point in time, that they've got to deal with this debt. Because see, when interest rates go up, which they will, paying on that debt is going to be a killer. It's going to be a major drag on the economy. You haven't seen anything yet. Well, if the government just could come and seize those monies in, in qualified accounts, they could pretty much erase the current debt. Now, it's, it's going to go up higher than that, but they could erase a good chunk of it. Now, when they seize it, I'm not saying they're just going to take it from you. They'll, they'll do like they do with Social, Social Security. They'll take the money. Your name will be on your account. So what do you, whatever you have will be there, but the government's going to seize it. It's coming. And then they're going to dole it back out to you, uh, probably on a needs basis. You're not going to get back, just like with Social Security. You may have put a lot more money in, but you know you only get back a certain amount. There's a cap on it. That's the great equalization. That's the redistribution of wealth that's going to happen. It's coming. So your money in those retirement accounts, I'm not saying that they're a bad thing, but I wouldn't load up on them. I would start pulling back and start learning how can you, how can you start advocating for your financial future and not doing it in those accounts, which are going to be easy, easy for the government to, to take over at some point. Um, it's coming. I'm just giving you a fair warning. Maybe not next year, maybe not in two years, but it's coming soon. You've got to look long, long term. You've got to play the long game. Short term, yes, we have to deal with, with taxes and, and the issues of the day, but you better be planning long term and be strategic. I don't know about you, but I wouldn't play the game that the government gives us because what the government gives, they will take away. Trust me on that. Remember, always stay focused on your freedom. I'll see you next time.